Now let us see the next question. A sum of 1,60,000 rupees is divided in the ratio 3 is to 5. So what is the smaller share? Now the total amount equals to 1,60,000 rupees which is to be divided in the ratio 3 is to 5. Now the given ratio equals to 3 is to 5 and sum of terms in the ratio equals to 3 plus 5 equals to 8 now in this the smaller term is 3 so then we use 3 to find the smaller share now smaller share equals to the smaller term in the given ratio 3 by sum of terms 8 into 1 lakh 60,000 rupees so then 8 ones are 8 8 twos are 16 1 2 3 4 zeros 1 2 3 4 zeros 20,000 and 20,000 into 3 so that equals to 60,000 rupees so this is the smaller share now the next question the speed of a garden snail is 50 meter per hour and that of cheetah is 120 km per hour find the ratio of the speeds so the speed of the garden snail is given in terms of 50 meters per hour but whereas the speed of cheetah is given 120 km per hour so but both are not mentioned in the same units so either we can convert 50 meter to kilometer or 120 kilometer to meters now the speed of garden snail equals to 50 kilometer per hour now the speed of cheetah equals to 120 kilometer per hour so this 120 we can if you convert kilometers into meters so then we take 120 into 1000 meters per hour so this equals to 12 1 are 12 1 2 3 4 zeros meters per hour so this is 1 like 20,000 meters per hour now the ratio of the speeds equals to first we will take cheetah that is 50 meter per hour is to 1 lakh 20,000 meter per hour so here meter per hour meter per hour cancel 0 0 cancel then we get 5 is to 12,000 so then 5 ones are 5 5 twos are 10 5 fours are 20 2 zeros so this equals to 1 is to 2400 now let us see the next topic proportion now if you want to enlarge your photo any any passport photo so then if it's length is 3 centimeters and the breadth is 2 centimeters so if you want to increase its size then both length and breadth are to be increased by the same term for example if the length is increased by two times so then we get six centimeters then the breadth also must be increased by two times so two twos are four centimeters so if you do not increase both length and breadth by the same term then the photo will be distorted then you will get the different shape so if you take the ratio of 3 is to 2 here and here the ratio 6 is to 4 
if you write the ratio 6 is to 4 in the simplest form then you will get again 3 is to 2 so this is the equality of two ratios so this is called the proportion the equality of two ratios is called the proportion now when four terms are said to be in proportion two ratios are said to be in proportion when they are equal so if you write the definition of proportion two ratios are said to be in proportion when they are equal so we use the symbol proportion and this is read as is as now if a is to be equal to c is to d then we read a is to b is as c is to d or a is to b is proportionate to c is to d now here the terms a b c d are called the terms of the proportion here a is the first term b is the second term c is the third term and d is the fourth term here a b c d are the first second third and fourth terms and here a and d so this first term and fourth term are called the extreme terms or extremes a and d the first and the fourth term a and d are called the extremes or extreme terms And the second and third, so these two are called the middle terms or means B and C. So these are called the middle terms or means. Now if you check the ray proportion A is to B equal to C is to D. So if you write the terms of the ratio in the form of fraction so then we write a by b equal to c by d by cross multiplication we get a into d equals to b into c so here a and d are called the extreme terms so we write a into d means product of extremes equal to b into c means here b and c are the middle terms or means so b into c means we can write the product of means so when you take any proportion the product of extreme terms is equal to the product of main terms and here a into d equals to b into c then d equals to b into c bc by a here d is called the fourth proportion here d is called the fourth proportional So we can find d value by using the formula b into c by a.